We've been on keto for six months. I have a sweet tooth. Tomorrow's my birthday. So Bill bought me some Good D's, still sweet, chocolate brownie mix. We've made them, we've tasted them, and they are fantastic. It's a great way to have a nice treat with only one carb. So stay tuned and watch us make this very simple, quick, easy recipe that also tastes delicious. Hey everyone, this is Stacy. I'm with Bonsai Keto. Thanks for watching. If you've watched any of our videos, you know I have a horrible sweet tooth. And Bill found us Good D's Brownie Mix. Super excited to make it. Looks very simple, very quick. We're going to start off with two eggs, one half cup of melted butter, and the brownie mix. Smells good. Okay, so it's saying to mix up the mix before you get started. We're going to add one half cup melted butter and two eggs. Mix that well. You have two options. You can make a cake-like brownie or a fudgy brownie. I opted for the fudgy brownies, which you'll do two eggs. And I believe the cake-like brownie, you, you use three. three eggs. So, simple difference. And I think the butter is different for the cake butter. Okay, yeah, let's check the, if you're going to do the cake-like brownie, you need three eggs and one-fourth cup of melted uh, unsalted butter, or you can use coconut oil. I'm using unsalted butter. For the fudge-like brownies, you'll need two eggs and one-half cup melted unsalted butter or coconut oil. We're, again, using the unsalted butter on our end. looked a little thin however as you start mixing it it bulks up pretty nicely there okay. the directions call for using an 8 by 8 pan we however are going to use my brownie pan breaks down into 12 servings. I'm just going to put a little bit of the melted butter from the bowl here. Now the advantage and one reason why I love this particular pan is I like the corners and Bill likes the corners. This gives every brownie with four corners and four edges. My kind of brownie. I'm excited to try these. Have not tried these. We just got them this week in the mail. Yep, we ordered them on the Amazon. Amazon. That's Imagine a that. Very well known name in this house. Okay. And there's 12 servings in that package, so it works out perfect for this particular brownie pan because you have 12 spots. It does. I'm not sure what the best way to get this in here is going to be, but with this spatula, it scrapes all the sides. It's thicker. 
thicker than a regular brownie mix. Normally when you put the brownie mix in, it starts to spread. You almost pour it in. Yeah. With a regular brownie mix. Very curious with the keto brownie mix here. These end up being one net carb after you remove the sugars and the fiber. Right. That would be one net carb per one twelfth, which would be one brownie for this pan. So exciting. Oh, that must be yours. I see that you put more in that one. <laughs> Shh. No, I'm trying to just divide it by ah. left side, right side, my side, his side. Sure. <laughs> that to do some walnuts yeah crush some walnuts up and put them on i do some. like well do you want like do you like walnuts i like walnuts i like brownies i'll tell you that so i'm hoping these turn out good yeah i'm excited it's been many many months six months plus since we've had something like a treat like this this wouldn't be something we'd make like every night or anything but you know once in a blue moon once a month or so when you really want a treat yeah. Oops. You could probably even jazz it up, get some rubble ice cream, put it next to it, make a little brownie ice cream thing. I know, when I bought the rebel ice cream, I didn't get to taste any of it. Sat there for a couple of weeks, so that was your loss. <laughs> <laughs> was Honestly, there. I forgot we had it. Yeah, it was there, so if you didn't get some, that was not my fault. I'm mm. going to just spread these out a little bit. How'd that go for you? Pretty well. I think it'll make a nice size brownie. This makes it nice too because all the brownies are exactly the same size. Some might be a little higher than well, others. Yeah. But for the most part, they should be pretty equal. And the nice thing again is that all four sides are going to have edges yes which are my favorite and i'm i'm very happy that this household is a fudgy brownie household i've saw a couple of videos where they've done these and they've added a uh chocolate over the top yeah, or you some, some lilies and drizzle it across yeah so i think what we'll do on this one we'll just just make the to be fair, so we make the brownies, try them, and give a good, honest review. Uh, like I said, we ordered these on Amazon. Yep, we'll link that below. You guys can check them out too. This will be a very honest review. I'm very much a sweets person, so you'll know by my face whether I like it or don't like it. And it's your birthday week. That's right. It's my birthday week. This will be my birthday week. So this will be a treat. Yeah. Maybe we'll even get Julia to try a bite of one and see what she thinks. Give us a, a non-keto honest opinion from a kid. From a kid. <laughs> that that will be a true test. Although, I think I'll be... We'll go buy them some regular brownies and make them that. Because they'll kill these keto brownies on us and then we won't get any. Oh. Oh no. I'm hiding them. They don't know. They're sleeping. They have no idea I'm making these right now. That's the beauty of being a parent and doing the late night brownie making. Asked my mom, when I lived at home, I like to make brownies at 11. Oh. Oh, somebody's giving me the bowl and the spoon <laughs> in a minute. Use the spatula. That will get all of it out. I just want to try it. I know you're probably not supposed to because of the raw eggs, but oh well. Mm. Oven is preheated to 350. And we are going to do 20 to 25 minutes if you wanted a cake-like brownie, which we don't. We are going to put ours in the oven for 22 to 27 minutes on the middle rack. So we're going to go ahead and get that in. I'm going to set my timer. You preheated? I preheated to 350 and gosh, that felt good. It was very warm. <laughs> timer set. 22 minutes. We're going to start at 22 and see where that takes us. Again, very simple. Good D's, still sweet. 
and this is the chocolate brownie low carb baking mix. Grain free, sugar free, gluten free, and soy free. This is a 7.5 ounce package. It's going to be all eaten by Bill and I. Now the pan they recommend is an 8 by 8 inch. Yes, square. they recommend an 8 by 8 square with parchment paper. Um, we do not have an 8 by 8, but we do have a 12 serving brownie pan, so that'll work. Yes. And we didn't do parchment, obviously, but we did, you know, kind of line it with butter. And that's, that's typically what we do. It's a nonstick. Um, so we'll cross our fingers. Pan. <laughs> exactly. We're going to cross our fingers and hope that goes well. So we'll see you in approximately 22 minutes. Okay, 22 minutes later, we have taken the brownies out of the oven. We have let them cool, which was very hard to do, <laughs> especially with Bill and I. But we did let them cool. You ready, Bill? Sure, I'm ready. Okay. Here you go. I will try it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Kids are sleeping, so we can't get their opinion. And I'll go ahead and finish this one. That's pretty good. And they're a carb per brownie, right? Mm hmm So this ends up being one carb per brownie for the whole square. So I technically only had a half a carb and Bill ate a half a carb. So very good. Uh, definitely would recommend it. Uh, definitely worth it. Definitely for my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And just blow yeah. it. <laughs> when you really want a treat and you're on keto and you, you know, you don't want to blow it. Yeah, we've been on keto for six months now. And looking for a sweet treat, definitely would recommend them. So to recap, these are Good D's, still sweet, chocolate brownie low carb baking mix. Would definitely recommend it. Gives you that sweet taste without being overwhelmingly sweet. Would definitely give it a thumbs up.